Hey, what's up, guys? Worldwide here. Welcome to Match Day Monday, number seven. Now, thankfully, I was able to get this recorded last night, Sunday night. So we do have a video for you today. It's like 10, 20 in the morning. I'll do the intro. I'll go do a quick voiceover, and uh, that'll be that. So you guys have a video for today. But I tell you what, got to be honest with you. We're coming into May. The weather is getting incredibly nice. I'm an outdoors type of guy anyway, so I'm probably going to wind this series down just for the summertime. I will be back in the fall, however. But summertime, man, I don't want to be cooped up inside playing darts. Like I said, I want to be outdoors. Plus, I do have a couple new toys. You always see the electric skateboard behind me. And I just happened to get another one as well. This thing's faster, so... Who knows, I might spend my summer in the emergency room. No, let's hope not. But um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. And I tell you what, even though I hadn't played darts all week, I hadn't thrown a single dart except to test out some of these new darts that I got in the mail, but tested those out. But yeah, I hadn't played a single dart all week. And I was actually really, really excited with how I played. So you're about to see that. And uh, hope you guys enjoy this one. Here we go. All right, guys, let's see how this goes. You know, I uh, got a brand new toy last week, brand new electric longboard. The weather's been nice, so I've been outside so much. I haven't been cooped up at all playing darts, so I think this is going to be a rough week. We'll just see how it goes, though. And I have a feeling just because of the nicer weather here, we're into springtime, summertime's coming soon. This will probably be my last match day Monday, at least for a little while. I mean, the weather's beautiful out there. I don't think you can blame me there. So anyway, same as always, we'll just jump right into it see what happens so we're going to add myself we're going to add dark connect man you know i want to turn this down to level 10 but i guess we'll stay with a level 11 and if i get smoked i get smoked hey at least the uh, video will get over with sooner <laughs> so cork for start we'll keep it best at nine and i'll hit random start same thing as always guys i'll hand it over to myself there in commentary and I will speak to you guys when this is over. We'll see you soon. Alrighty, here we go. Let's see how this goes. Haven't done commentary here in a couple weeks. But yeah, look at that 180 Gladiator 3 Plus board. Man, that thing is holding up so, so nice. It's been a couple years since I reviewed one and I forgot really just how nice those things are, in my opinion. Man, it's got to be probably one of the best boards on the market. Definitely will hang with the Blade 5 all day long. As you see there, I got the Throw. The computer program was kind enough to allow me to have throws. So that means I started the match off, which if it goes to a last leg, I will have the start. And a uh, little bit of a rough start. 43, 45 coming out of the gate. While the computer, not doing too bad here. 83, 140. So it looks like it's time to play catch up. Hey, look at that. Oh, just a bit high. Nice 140 to respond to their 140. Now 273, that's one of those tough numbers to uh, leave a check out from there. Had I hit the treble 20 first start, probably would have gone 18 for the bullseye to leave a finish 170. So trouble 20, 18, 25, leaves 170. None of that panned out, though. So computers starting off strong. 118 after 12 darts. So I'm looking to pile in a good score here. First dart's perfect. Uh oh here we go. Oh, is that last one in? Yeah. Get in there. What a perfect leave from 216. So that puts a little pressure on the opponent, and it looks like I'm going to get three clear, double 18. <laughs> Bit of rust there. That wasn't even close, and frustration. Ah, oh, come on. And I just chose to bust the score. Actually, if I was going to bust the score, I should have thrown over near the 14, 11, 12, 9 segment to guarantee the bust. So kind of took a chance there, but... Anyway, busted the score, and miraculously, the level 11 Dart Connect bot gave me another chance. So again, I came inside, and thankfully, second dart to clean things up. 
So I held throw, which was nice to start off with. And again, I'm trying to slow things down in between legs. So a little sip of water. Plus, you know, not to mention, I think it was like 78 or, yeah, 78, 79 degrees in my room. So it's warm. But anyway, it was nice to hold throw there. And uh, just really, since I haven't played all week, I'm trying to find any sort of rhythm out of the gate. And as you'll see here, the first couple legs, I started off slow, but I think some good things developed after that. All right, so nice last start there for 100. And you saw the first two, kind of all over the place still. So I'm just really hoping to settle in and find some consistency. And I left myself, you see there, I left myself 342. Kind of a mistake there because there's nothing I could... Oh, let me grab that dart real quick. It's going to fall out. But yeah, 342, there's nothing I could do. Even if I hit a 180, I couldn't leave myself a finish. So you do want to start paying attention, you know, well into the 300s of what you're going to leave. But with that last throw, you saw the third dart was just barely in there. I can't even begin to explain how firm this board is. So if you have a fairly hard throw or, you know, just a really hard throw, I guess, this is probably the type of board you would want in your home. It's just going to last forever. You know, compare that to the Unicorn HD2 that I reviewed. It's kind of a soft board and uh, not something you really want at home. But is it that last one sneak in there? Yeah. Kicking off with the 180, and the yellow 9 appears. So nice start. I'm actually starting to feel a little more confident right now. First two legs, kind of rough, but I mean, the average was still, what are we at right here? 77 average after two legs. 95 there to back it up with. And there's nothing like starting off a leg with a 180. It just gives you a lot of confidence, and especially when you have the start. I mean, the computer or any opponent's just going to have to play catch up from there, and that's really hard to do when someone starts off with a huge score. So did I sneak that last third dart in there? Yeah. So, wow. Great leg here, looking at 86 after nine darts. Now pay attention to this. The computer is way, way back on 260. I believe the first dart goes in the treble. So yeah, treble 18 to leave double 16. However, I knew that the computer opponent was way back. Had I hit a single 18 with a first dart, I would not have gone the bullseye route. You know, normally you would go single 18, single 18 to leave bullseye. In this scenario, I would not have done that. I would have gone... Let's see, the single 18 would have left 68. Then I would have just gone treble 20 to try to get to a double that way. There's just no... In, and guys, I've seen so many people screw up legs by forcing themselves to go the bullseye route. And uh, it's just something you really don't have to do. And the, the computer or the opponent's back on 260. Take your time, set the shot up, and play smart. Don't go for those hero finishes when you don't have to. But anyway, clean that leg up quick. I believe that was a... 13 darter with throw, so feeling pretty good. Actually kind of caught me by caught me by surprise, just because, like I said, I haven't played all week. Just missed that first dart on the outside wire of the treble three, or treble one, excuse me. Great first dart there. When my dart lands flat into that treble 20 bed in the bottom part of the wire, more times than not, I can usually squeeze another treble 20 in there. So nice 121 to back up the 41 awful start. Again, that's another perfect dart for me. Slid one right in the corner and, oh, went for the cover shot. That second dart, the flight kicked to the left. So that's why I went for the cover shot there. But two great scores to kind of, I guess kind of help out with that horrible start. And that's things I've said in other videos. If you start out with a 41 or a 26, who cares? You know, really try to concentrate, get get back to the line 
And look at that, you know, even though I started with a 41, I've still managed to uh, make this into a pretty good leg with a 121, 139. However, the 43 there didn't help. And the computer opponent, look at that, 81 after 12 darts and then takes that out for a 15 darter. So I would have had to throw 12 darts there in order to break throw. Wasn't even close. So everything's right on throw here. And after the poor start with the first two legs, bumped my average up to, it looks like 87 there. So great recovery after a slow start. And I can't stress that enough. You know, when you're playing, you have a bad start, you have a bad leg, don't let it get to you. You know, that's the worst thing you can do in darts. Just start thinking about how poorly you're playing. Because I think once you start cracking yourself over the head, things only get worse. So try to think of anything else except the legs you've already thrown. You know, don't, those are gone. Don't worry about them anymore. Just continue to throw good darts. 341 there. That was funny because I was trying to go for the Michael Van Gerwen shot. 341, you want to pile in nine 19s. And as you saw there, that first start wasn't even close. I think I missed by a good two inches. A little wild one. That one got away from me. Nice recovery, though. So 242 there. I'm checking my score, making sure I don't leave myself a bogey. And that didn't help, so I left myself one anyway. That was kind of kicking myself in the head. That's the worst, though. You throw a single five, treble 20, and then you just throw in junk for the third dart. So 176, trying to leave myself a finish. And I did just that. That's exactly what you want to do from 176. So again, I left myself 36. You know, it's funny enough, if you go back in all my other match day Mondays, very rarely do I leave myself 36, and I've left myself that twice already. So finished it up finally in the first start. So great leg there to take a 3-2 advantage. And as you see, the average there climbing up to 89. So I was pretty happy with that. And yes, I, I glanced over and saw what I was doing. So that in itself creates a little bit of nerves. Too many times you can get carried away looking at the average. Great start here. I think I'm going for cover. Yeah. So that's two legs so far, opening up with a maximum. So there's the yellow nine again. And that's definitely something you want to see, especially against the darts. So the computer opponent started out 135, 83. Great start there. They're averaging, I think, what's that, 106 or I can't see. 109 in this leg after two throws. And they're still coming out great. 183 after nine darts. Just trying to play catch up here. That's not going to help. Treble 20 there. I'm going to come down. 84 scored to leave. 140. Oh, and if I recall, I believe... This next dart slipped right out of my thumb. I think it was this turn anyway. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it was this turn. Whoops. There it is. Single 12. I'm like, what the heck? So not a good turn there. That was a single 5 and then a treble 3. So that's disappointing. Just hoping to get another turn. And all right. So I'll tell you what, that a level 11 computer bot, he lets me off quite a few times. Normally they would take that out, but seeing if I can recover here. All right. We got a shot at the double, double tops. Ooh. Now see, that would have been a great, great turn, especially against the darts. That was a chance to break throw, take a huge lead. Then I would have been throwing for the match. Of course, that didn't develop, but it just gives you an idea. You need to take every chance possible, especially it's getting late in the match, tied up at 3-3. Average is still climbing, 90 right now, after six legs. Whoa, that one's falling out. Get it quick. It's a little 100 to start things off with. And I happen to use, um, well, I'm using 
my match darts, my 180 reloads, and I have on the gold storm points. And those things hold in the board really, really well. I believe if that was a silver point, it would have definitely been on the floor. And there we go, another 180. So I think that's two 180s in this match and a 177. So scoring is pretty decent today. And it's really honestly taken me by surprise because like I said, for the at least third, fourth time, hadn't played a dart, haven't thrown a dart really all week. Let's see what we got there. I can't tell. I don't look happy. Nope. <laughs> 43. So it wasn't happy. And you know, that's something I've personally had to work on. I notice more times than not, I can start off with six great darts. Always seems to be my third turn where I'm just screwing things up. I'm not sure why I'm doing that, but I'm definitely aware of it. But good recovery there. 78 after 12 darts. I'd take that any day. And that is with throw. So the opponent was opponent's way back. First start, trouble 18. Oh, just that thing clicked the wire too. Hey, and then I almost hit my little Irish flag up there. That wouldn't have made me happy. So good attempt there. That would have been a 15 darter with throw. The only way to beat that is if the opponent was throwing a 12 darter. Obviously not going to happen, so trying to clean up 24. Wow, way off there. Again, click the wire, and then just outside. So that hurts. I mean, that's just another opportunity wasted, and I am aware of the score, 3-3. And I had a feeling the computer opponent's going to take this out, 74 and again, very, very kind to me. I was actually surprised. You see my gesture there. Really surprised they gave me another turn. So double six, just inside. Nobody likes double three, but whew, lots of relief right there. Especially, again, this late in the match. Four, three. Average dipped a little. Too many missed doubles there, so the average dipped down to 87. And right there, I took a sip of water and I glanced over. I saw that... This could be the last leg. I saw they started off with a poor score of 41. So I'm really putting myself under pressure right now. I want to score something big against the darts. And a little bit of relief with that third dart. You know, ideally, I would have liked to come out of the gate with 100. 140 would have been awesome. But now that I see they scored, you know, they've had two poor turns. So I'm really trying right now. I'm really pushing hard, trying to get this leg and this match over with. And it's not happening, but great recovery there. You see there, I think that second dart was a one. Yeah, it sure was. So a five and a one. I, you know, if you notice, I didn't get disappointed. I kept my rhythm and just threw. And luckily that third dart went in. So I think if I stopped, if I cracked myself over the head, if I was beating myself up, probably would have missed that third dart. So... There we go. We got a trouble 20 first dart. Drop my second dart. <laughs> Look at that. Great recovery underneath even. So very nice there. 85, 63, 140 against the darts. So great leg going. Looking to wrap things up. Wow. Two back-to-back -back great scores from the computer. Puts a lot of pressure under me. So 213. You want to be careful not to leave a bogey. So 198, 78. Left 160. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's see what they score here. Wow, let's see, that's pretty surprising. When you got the computer opponent cranked up to a level 11, they've had three poor turns this league. Man, I tell you what, they give me break after break after break. So 160, just trying to keep things straight. Thank God that third dart went in. So 100 remaining versus 105. See if they take this out. They do not. So 100 remaining for the match. Treble 20. Look at that. Perfectly middle of the bed. Yeah. Get in. Well, there it is, guys. I will turn things back over to myself. Hope you enjoyed yes. it. Yes. Hmm. To be honest, I really didn't think I would play all that well. I'm actually really excited about that. All right. Yes, yes, yes. 
Whew. All right, so let's take a look at these stats. Hey, that wasn't too bad for not playing all week. So, whew, and it's warm in here. Wow. 87.5 average. I'll take that. I think that was um, just a couple poor legs. I had a pretty slow start, to be honest with you. So to recover like that, I'm looking at the monitor down here, by the way. Um, 101.2 scoring average. That's, uh, that's actually really good. Good for me. I will take that. Today, I was a little off on my doubles there. Five out of 17, but you know, even though I was only 29% of my doubles, and like I've said in other videos, I like to be at least 33%. That's the minimum, because that would mean I'm hitting at least one double out of every turn to be at that 33%. So uh, yeah, a little off on the doubles, five out of 17. If that was a little higher, I probably would have finally broken a 90 average here on video, but I don't really care about that. I threw well considering the amount of time that I've put in this week. So, hey, I'll take that. Um, I'm trying to think of some scenarios that showed up. Oh, I know there was one scenario. I forget what leg it was on. I think I was on for an 11 darter. So I had, let's see, I had 86 remaining. I knew the opponent was pretty far back. Had I hit two single 18s there, I probably wouldn't have gone for the bullseye finish. I probably would have set the shot up. And um, I guess... You know, I at least would have done that in that scenario. I'm not really sure if I would have gone for that or not, but um, I, I'm not sure the other scenarios. I know I did mess up a couple times with a setup shot. I think I glanced over. I left myself on 343 or something like that. So if I hit a 180, I couldn't get to a finish. Just some simple math mistakes there. But um, hey, overall, that actually put me in a really good mood to throw like this, you know, considering, like I said a couple times, the amount of time I put in. So... Anyway, guys, as in the other videos, I hope you at least took one thing away from this match. Maybe learn something. I'm not sure. And uh, hopefully the commentary was okay. So while uh, we do have some good reviews coming soon, I'm actually working on the Target Gabriel Clemens review for you on Wednesday. So keep an eye out for that. And I guess that's it, guys. Until next time, let me fix this. Until next time, we'll see you on the next video, guys. Later. A few moments later.